A ver las orejas del conejito. Pero el conejito tenía una mosca en la nariz. Vamos a cantar. Pero el conejito tenía una mosca en la nariz. La espantó, la espantó y la mosca voló. La espantó, la espantó y la mosca. ¿Ven la mosca? Voló. I've been working in this field for 40 years and um, I see the impact of my work. Uh, as I travel throughout the country in the different communities with preschoolers, with uh, elementary school kids, with high school kids, with college students, with parents and grandparents. So it's been very rewarding. And I keep on doing it because if it, if it has impact in the communities, might as well keep on doing it. Colorín, colorán. Estas fiestas seguirán Colorín, 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 colorán Estas fiestas seguirán um, Jose Luis's music and books have definitely had an incredible impact on the children of migrant and seasonal Head Start families because it not only teaches them how to learn, but it motivates them, it excites them, it teaches them not only about music and culture and instruments, but it also teaches them about self-esteem and empowerment. Uh, it also helps them with their health because they are able to move around and dance and do all of those things. So it's not just the cognitive piece, but also the emotional and the physical piece as well. It's the magic of music, and it's so, it also takes years to uh, master the skills of uh, performing for children. It's important to know what they like and what they don't like. And also it is important to give them freedom for their expression, but also to help them. Sometimes they need help, you know, with that expression. And these are great tools. And we say, repeat after me, two little hands. Ten little fingers. Ten little fingers. Count, them Count them all with me. Dos manitas. Dos manitas. Diez, deditos. Diez deditos. Cuéntalos. Cuéntalos. Conmigo. Conmigo. Close your hands. Let's count in Spanish now. Uno, dos, diez, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Uh, the way I do it is very simple. I introduce uh, the song, the title of the song. I give a little background about the, the song or the game or rhyme or tongue twister. And then I present it to the children. There are different ways to do it. I do a colon response, uh, you know, exercise. I, I do body movement. And then I ask them also to sing along with me. So there are different ways to do it. And it is mainly for them to listen to uh, exercise the listening comprehension, and then to express it, to do the oral expression. And uh, if we have the books, if we have charts, then we ask them to follow the lyrics on the charts, to follow the, the, the letters, the symbols. And that's part of reading or part of the literacy. When I was learning Spanish, the music really helped me because um, it was kind of hard because I didn't know Spanish at all. So um, I got better by listening to the music. and reading books. This is another great example to do it. All right. Play the drum, play the drum, play the drum from Panama. And they play the drum on their lap. It's time to play the drum. Play the drum and have some fun. Everybody say Mary Jane. Well, Mary Jane. Movement is very important. Uh, it's very important because they exercise their body 
is good for the muscles, the small and big muscles of the body. It's also good for body coordination. So all of that, and plus, you know, they help them with the memory. These songs, you know, they memorize, and they, there is sequence also. There is numbers, there is letters, there is science with music. So music is a magic tool. Uh, it's a non-threatening tool for teaching. Uh, we use uh, Jose Luis's CDs and books because they are a positive experience for the children. They keep us in touch with the roots and traditions and um, also for the, new, for the newer generations. Andale amigo, no te dilates con la canasta de los cacahuates. Andale amigo, sal del rincón con la canasta de la colación. No quiero oro, ni quiero plata, yo lo que quiero es romper la piñata. The books and the cities are used all over the country. In the United States, we have more than 35 million people using the Spanish language. In Texas, obviously, in Florida, California, are the states use it the most, you know, in terms of uh, numbers. Uh, Texas and Florida ad adopted, adopted two of my, of my books and two of my CDs for the whole curriculum from preschool up to second grade. So they use it because they, they, they see important tools to teach the children, to teach them culture, to teach them language to help them with movement, with motions, to help them with many different skills. Uh, we use uh, Jose Luis Orozco songs. Uh, we use them to uh, practice uh, songs, rhyming, and they have a great impact on, on the students. They actually learn both English and Spanish. I have found out that my music has helped many teachers. Many uh, teachers uh, have come, you know, if they have been teaching for 15, 20 years, they come and tell me, oh, your music helped me during my first year as a, as a teacher. It saved my life. And, and then from then on, you know, I've been using your music. So it's great to hear that, you know, all over the country and even abroad, in Puerto Rico, in Miami, in Hawaii, and in Central America, and Mexico. So music is magic, as I said it again, as a teaching tool. <laughs> The music of Jose Luis Orozco has impressed me a lot with the children because they have fun, they move their body, they learn their body parts, counting, and concepts, and at the same time, they have a lot of fun. Y no vamos a cubita, la bella. sing to them la bamba, and they start jumping. You know, do Guantanamera for them. You know, those are magic sounds. Bamba, Guantanamera, Sun Sun Babae. There are so many great, great uh, songs with magic sounds that we have. Tipi, tipi, tin, tipi, tin, all that stuff. You know, uh, sing a song for them or dance with them something, even la raspa. You know, you don't need to know Spanish to sing la raspa. And to dance it, you know, it's easy. La ra, la ra, la ra, and then you clap and then you start dancing. There are many different ways you can do it through music. Oh, come my friends, oh, come my friends, oh, come to see my farm. Oh, come my friends, come my friends, come to see my farm. Vengan a ver mi granja que es hermosa. Vengan a ver mi granja que es hermosa. El pollito hace así. Piu, piu. Eso en español, en inglés. Chip, chip, chip. And the baby chick goes like this. Chip, chip, chip. What about the bilingual donkey? In English. The donkey goes like this. Hija. En español. El burro hace así. 
Oh, vengan amigos, vengan amigos, vengan amigos, vengan. Oh, vengan amigos, vengan amigos, vengan amigos, vengan. The first time that I heard uh, Jose Luis Orozco's music was at the library and he was singing a lot of the songs that I used to hear when I was a mm. child back in Colombia, like Los Elefantes mm. y Los Pollitos and all those songs that I heard when I was a child and it was so nice to have a CD and to have a person that I could go to concerts to, to hear this music and to take my children and introduce the culture and the music that I heard when I was a child. The parents are reinforcing all those different uh, skills that they are learning in the classroom. Or vice versa, when the kids get, go to the school and the teachers introduce los pollitos or los elefantes, the, the kids already know the song because their parents have been, you know, teaching it to them. They've been practicing and singing with them. Well, you know, I, I learned many of the songs and games as I travel uh, the Latin American world, also uh, through my mother and my grandmother. Many games, many rhymes. And uh, when it came to make a selection, obviously it had to be by region. It had to be also by skills, numbers, letters, basic skills, uh, culture, and, you know, rhythms also. This is the word molinillo. And this is a tool to mix the chocolate with the milk. Put your hands together. Pretend you have a molinillo. Put your molinillo inside the pot. Repeat after me. Uno, dos, tres, go. Uno, dos, tres, go. All together. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cho. Uno, dos, tres, go. Uno, dos, tres, la. Uno, dos, tres, te. Chocolate, chocolate, pate, pate, chocolate. Yes such a wonderful performer and the, the energy at the shows is wonderful and suddenly where most of the concerts that we would get to go to would be all in English and I'm grateful living in Los Angeles we have lots of opportunities to see great children's entertainers I was so excited that there was this wonderful entertainer who was singing almost entirely in Spanish or in the two languages so that my son could see it's not just my idea <laughs> Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. We used to work more stuff like that, you know? Uh, books, music, films, everything, you know? I think uh, being able to, to understand another language, I think you, you, you are closer to be able to understand another culture, you know? It's just, it's, it's a very good thing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, you know? It's very important to tell the parents that, uh, you know, to sing to them, to play with them, to uh, take them to the library, to read to them, and uh, they will succeed in, in school if they help them at home. The, you know, uh, help at home is very important. I knew that it would have been easier if I'd started when I was really young. And I, that was one of the things I knew more than anything I wanted to do for my son. I listened to it in the summer because, like, that was when I was learning Spanish so I could go to this school. So, like, every day I had a Spanish tutor who, like, helped me um, do Spanish. And, we would, and, like, whenever we were traveling in the car or something or going somewhere, my mom would put on his music. So, like, that's how I learned, like, the alphabet. San Jose, yo compré un clarinete. Well, many parents tell me, yeah, you know, uh, we use your music all the time at home or when we are driving, you know, the music uh, keeps them busy and at the same time it calms them down. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a great helper when, when we are driving the kids around town, you know. We put your music and they sing along because they like the, the, the rhythm, they like the songs and they are practicing their, their language. And so it's a win-win situation. <laughs> Can go wrong. You speak two languages. I mean, you know, for all of the above, you know, it'd be good for him later that I know, but he doesn't know yet. So now he sees the, uh, the, uh, the benefits every time he travels. 
He sees benefit every time he, uh, I, you know, I talk to my friends or my family, my, my grandparents, you know, his grandparents, sorry, they come, they speak Spanish, you know? Very important. With some programming, some films that I watch, I love, you know, foreign films, they're in Spanish. He watches them with, with me. I think their parents, the parents get excited and they get the kids excited. <laughs> and also the teachers. Teachers love the music because it helps them teach. And then they tell the kids, oh, Jose Luis is here. I was in Chicago two weeks ago. And one of the teachers couldn't believe when the, te when the principal told her, I have Jose Luis here in the school and he wants to sing for the kids. She could not believe it. And then I, I went into the classroom. The principal took me into the classroom and she just froze. And uh, I said, you know, I'm very happy to be here to sing for you and the kids. So it's, it's, it's rewarding, and, and the children the same. And the teacher, you know, the teacher was excited and said, remember, you know, we sing this song every day in the morning. This is the man that sings in the CD and, and, or in the cassette. And so those are nice anecdotes. I remember he, he decided, my, my father, his grandfather, who doesn't speak Spanish to this day, Ian decided to take it upon himself to teach my father Spanish, and he started with Los Elefantes. <laughs> and I remember him at two or three years old sitting there teaching his grandpa, un elefante se balanceaba, te recuerdas? <laughs> Ask a bilingual parent, a trilingual or polylingual parent, and they will tell you the benefits. With, uh, you know, there are new terms used like globalization, in uh, terms that uh, also with technology, the, s the world is becoming smaller and smaller in terms of uh, people communicating with each other. And it is important to know other languages. Even when here in the United States, when the students get to high school, they have to have a second language in order for them to graduate. So why not start at an early age when the parents uh, of many kids speak other languages, not only Spanish, but also Chinese, German, Japanese, Hmong, uh, um, Tagalog, there are so many languages in this country. There is nothing wrong. And I think uh, if the children validate, uh, or the school systems validate the children's uh, culture, they will uh, succeed also in life, and the, the communities will be better off. Say, ole! It is to share that culture with everybody else because all the cultures have value and it's important to appreciate other, other people's values, others, you know. So if the children learn that from an early age, then they can respect better each other. Juanito cuando baila, 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 Juanito. La cabeza, baila con la cabeza, con la cabeza. Hombro con el hombro, codo con el codo, con la mano, con la rodilla. Well, here in the United States, where I started in 1970, a student teacher from San Jose State University at that time. Uh, invited me to her class to sing for the kids, most of them Latino children. She didn't know the, the songs and games of her uh, childhood. She had been raised here in the United States. Uh, later on, I got a job with the Berkeley Unified School District for the same reason, to teach the children, the parents, and the teachers the traditions that I already knew. I had learned so much about the uh, Latin American traditions because I traveled the Latin American world as a singer with the Mexico City Boys Choir. Yo tengo una tía llamada Mónica que cuando va a bailar le dicen ulala, 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 le dicen ulala. There are many different ways to, to uh, also um, teach the children through the new technology. Hello, good morning. My name is Jose Luis. Please sing with me. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. How about you? 
Karamba Kids is an internet multimedia tool to help uh, teachers, parents, and children um, with uh, you know English and Spanish and different skills in those languages. Uh, basic skills for uh, oral language development, math, science, and anything that is related to the curriculum. Our mission with Karama Kids is to create an engaging and inspirational educational experience for children through music, art, culture, and technology. A lot of fun for education. And this, uh, by that I mean uh, different activities, uh, pre-literacy, literacy, math, science, uh, through games, um, through videos, a lot of animation and a lot of music. Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted. Y usted. The team of Caramba Kids consists of uh, award-winning cartoon anim animators, uh, preschool uh, teachers, experts in elementary school, we expect everybody to have fun at the same time to help the children uh, with technology. Technology is very important now. And now, you know, if we use animation, if we use uh, music and uh, children's voices and even, you know, uh, children participating and, and teachers, if we have games, educational games, educational videos, Caramba Kids is going to be a great tool to help children succeed in education. Ahora vamos a leer, a leer, a leer. Ahora vamos a leer, a leer, a leer. It's proven that parent uh, participation in the education of their children, you know, will help kids succeed in school and in life. And if they can sing, que canten, enjoy. Show me the pointers facing each other. Let's try it. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? It was nice to be with you. It was nice to be with you. Adios. Goodbye.